I'm Keith Hoffman, executive producer of Animal Planet's Finding Bigfoot. When it comes to Bigfoot, let's face it, sometimes it's hard to separate fact from fiction. There are so many wild and crazy rumors out there about this legendary beast. For instance, do you know that like humans, Bigfoots reportedly have pets? I mean, could they really have the brain power to domesticate another animal? Could they be that intelligent? Well, that's the thing, John. These annuities just aren't forecasted to bring in the type of returns that I'm looking for. And if it's a bear market, well then, I'm out of my house and living in the woods. Again. Look, if anyone knows the idiosyncrasies of Bigfoot, come on, it's the Finding Bigfoot team. They have over 50 years of combined experience studying and investigating this elusive creature. But now it's time to find out if you've been paying attention to the show. Which of the following animals does a member of the Finding Bigfoot team believe Bigfoots keep as pets? A, eagles. <laughs> oh, not again. Yikes. B. Coyotes. <laughs> Bobo? Is that you? Or C. Feral cats. For the love of all things sacred and holy, please get these feral cats off of me. Ah, thank you. So. Which animal is it? There we go. What the hell? There are animals here. Coyotes. I can very well see a squatch, especially after seeing us with dogs, grabbing coyote pups and raising them up. And they wouldn't know any better. They'd just stay with the, with the squatches. Doesn't look like Renee agrees with Bobo, but it's certainly an interesting theory. An interesting theory? You know, quite frankly, I'm sick of the word theory. You know, I, I am. I, I don't care if you believe in me or don't believe in me or if I exist or what I do, what I don't do, where I sleep, what I eat, where I am. I'm sick of it. All right, how about instead of the word theory, why don't we use the word hypothesis? Yes! I like it. Okay, it's an interesting hypothesis. Yes, it is. Does anybody have a vacuum?